that's September the 24th and it's uh, raining outside and this is vlog 100 hmm, miraculous so I was thinking about the blood and um, today I was reminded of something that happened to us in 2015 in fact it was in June 2015 now where I'm sitting now you see this desk and you see me in this chair but there used to be a two-seater settee here once upon a time and I was sitting on this uh, settee just thinking praying in tongues and then a voice spoke to us very clearly very authoritatively and the voice said this study the blood now that alone is uh, quite something for me to hear so clearly but I heard it in my eyes now I can't explain this to you because I don't have any English words to explain this but this voice was said study the blood which is not something the devil's going to tell you to do study the blood I heard it in my eyes very loudly very clearly very authoritatively in my eyes and he said study the blood the blood to me is a very, very, it, it, in fact, it is the foundation of everything. It's, the, the blood is the foundation of the new birth. The blood is the foundation of full immersion baptism, baptism, the spirit, the fire, the gifts, the fruits, the evangelism, apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers. The blood is the foundation of it all because the lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. So that brings us now to this afternoon today. And I was sitting next door and how the Holy Spirit works with me on a lot of occasions, he puts us in two realities at the same time. So I was sitting next door and in the seat next to the window, just thinking, the next moment I'm also in this other place. So I'm sitting in the seat next to the window physically, but I'm also just as uh, aware of being in another place. And in this place, there was a big large golden ball very clearly as clear as i can see the camera in front of me and linda who's behind the camera big golden ball brim full of blood i mean it was to the top bright red blood full and i'm looking at this and the voice said very clearly this angel or the holy spirit said very clearly the keys are in the blood so in 2015, he said to us, study the blood. In 2020, today, he said, the keys are in the blood. So I'm looking at this big golden bowl full of blood. And I'm thinking to myself, how do I get the keys out? And the answer came, you've got to reach in. You've got to reach in. So in this other reality, I reached into this bowl full of blood, which as an afterthought, I thought to myself, it should be overflowing because my arm was in it, but it wasn't. I reached into this bowl of blood and I felt a key in my hand and I started to pull my hand out of this bowl of blood. And then I was back in this three-dimensional reality. So the word of the Lord is the keys are in the blood. So the enemy knows this. So if he can systematically remove anything and everything to do with the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb, or the blood of the cross from the body of Christ, then he renders the body of Christ powerless. Why? Because the life is in the blood. The life of God is in his blood. The keys are in the blood. And he told me in 2015, study the blood. So yesterday, I was telling you, out of Job chapter 1 verse 10, of the understanding, the great understanding and experience that Satan had with regards to the blood. And what he said was, basically, I cannot get at Job, I cannot get at his household, and I cannot get at his goods, because you have put a hedge around him. We may term that in our terminology, if you watch Star Trek, you could say he's put a force field around him. But whatever the Lord put around Job, his home, his family, his possessions, the enemy. Satan could not get through to him. And the blood covenant that we have with our king is an eternal one. So he isn't going to lift his hand off us and let the enemy come in 
and kick us all over the place. The blood is the most uh, powerful substance in all the known and unknown areas of creation. The blood and revelation of the blood will make you and me, like Job, untouchable. So remember, Jesus is Lord and the keys are in the blood.